kind of grade your personal preseason of the Cavs? I mean, uh, I, I don't know what to grade it, but I think I play well. Uh, I think I push the tempo. Uh, I think I'm in great shape. And it's always fun when you're on the court with a bunch of guys that's uh, got the same goal, common goal, like I said. And like I said, once I came here, um, everybody got that same common goal. So it makes things a lot easier and fun once you're on the floor. How much has this uh, Celtics matchup come up you know, either on your mind or in conversations with the team throughout training camp? Not until tomorrow um, um, we play them, and uh, not until we, we go over like the game plan or what we're going to do. Guys really don't talk about that much. Um, probably on guys' mind um, just because it's the first game, but we really don't talk about it that much. Derek, what's the reasonable expectation for a, a time period for when you guys really feel like you're in? I mean, it's going to take time. Um, it's, it's just going to take time. We haven't played with LeBron in I don't know how long, um, but it's going to be a process. It's going to be a process for everybody to get, uh, learn their roles, get used to playing with one another, learn everybody's tendency, uh, tendencies and go out there and, and, and play their game and um, not think while they're out there and react. So, um, Coach Lou has been doing a great job of making sure that he's putting guys in the right position. So it's, us, it's up to us to execute. Do you feel more of a change in your role with LeBron if you can't go tomorrow versus if you can play with him? I mean, not really. If my job is to push the ball and facilitate, especially with the first group. So if he's playing, if he's not playing, um, I'll be prepared. I think the team will be prepared. But um, personally, I've been preparing. But this uh, moment, pre even preseason, for a long time, like just being on the championship team, like, uh, contender, like I've been preparing for this ever since the off season last um, this summer. What's the matchup with Kyrie Irving like? Fun, um, competitive, and um, like you gotta, you gotta know, I played against playoffs, a lot of playoff series against them, so um, kind of a similar similar game, but he depends on his jump shot way more than I do, but. A hell of a player. How do you block out there some of the comparisons that, that may come about between you and Kyrie because of what he was in the early days and how you kind of in his spot? What comparisons? I haven't heard. Like what? About, well, Kyrie was able to do this for the Cavs and the Cavs had success with Kyrie with him and now they're. Oh, uh, I can't listen to that, bro. Um, my job is to come in and be the best Derrick Rose I could be. Like, like I said before, before I came here, um, Kyrie, Kyrie is a unique player, a hell of a player, but I can't, can't get caught up into the matchups or comparing our, our game or our role. Um, once I came here, um, my job is to come in, try to make this team be as best as we can possibly be. Um, drive the guys, and if anything, like I said, I'm learning on a daily basis, so I think that I'm getting a lot out of it than anyone else because um, this is the first time I've been in this position. This will, this will be the first time I ever, I think, played this long in the season where I, we hopefully will be playing to June. So this is a learning experience for me. It could, it could be a supercharged atmosphere tomorrow. Do you? Can that emotion, can you use that? Or do you not want to get too amped up? No, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Just, I mean, I played in my hometown before too. So um, just knowing how big certain games are or whenever the Cavs came in town or the Lakers or any good team came in town when I first started off with the Bulls, you felt the energy. So um, I think I do a pretty good job with hiding my emotions. So if I am charged, you probably wouldn't notice it anyway. So. <laughs> Hey Derek, this is almost like a, an all-star team or an Olympic team being assembled here. What's the reasonable timeline, do you think, for this to really mesh and you guys to hit what your potential could be? Like I said, it's going to be a process. Uh, we all know it's going to be a process. So, um, we would like to say the first game we'll go out there tomorrow, but uh, realistically, um, it's going to take time. Uh, we got to learn each other's tendencies, how we like the ball, whenever, I mean, when we like the ball in the flow of the game. Um, Coach Lewis has been doing a great job of putting us in the right position. It's all about just um, getting that time, getting that rhythm. And um, once we, we go up on teams, like finding or finding ways to make the game easier along the way. Do you find that, is that changing already in just a couple of weeks of practice? I think so. When you got a talented group like this, it, it changes. But at the same time, 
We talked about it, me and D. Wade, um, he was just talking in the locker room, just saying that when you're on teams like this, you kind of find yourself being in games and you got to find little things to keep you ample, keep you involved in the game. And um, for me, I, I can't speak on that because I haven't been on a team like that or I didn't have the, the luxury of being on a team like that. All my games I played in, I have to like go right away, right when I get the ball or whenever I got the ball. So. Um, just having that luxury, um, I just got to learn how to play with it. And um, I think I, I should be able to um, adjust to it pretty quickly. And in the Orlando game, it looked like when the first unit was out there that you and Dwayne were almost like taking turns attacking. Was that conscious? Was that was that part of the play structure? Or is that something that you'll do as the season goes on? One yeah, guy just the play of the game, uh, just the flow of the game, too. That's what I mean. It's all about learning. LeBron was out. K-Love was out. Somebody has to pick up that load. My job is to push the ball, and from me pushing the ball and attacking and being aggressive, it, it opens up the floor and it gets shooters open. So, like I said, making the game easy, using my strengths to try to manipulate the game and um, playing my style, learning my rhythm again, learning that all over. There was a sequence in that game where you attacked and made a great basket underneath, and then he came a couple of possessions later and did that scoop underhand, and I thought, well, if they can make that happen, 60 nights this year, things things will be okay. Did you feel that as well out there? 60, we're going for 80, we're trying to play 82, man. You know what I mean? trying to, <laughs> I, I don't know about him, I'm trying to play 82, man. But um, we would love that. But when you have Ron on the floor and K-Love on the floor at the same time, it's a lot of, you don't know how teams are on the plate. Like I said, this is my first time being on a team like this where all guys demand that same type of attention on the floor. And LeBron being on the floor, it's even more with him. So. I just see the lanes are open, and I'm able to play the way that I love playing. How much more difficult has it been to gel without LeBron being a part of it? I mean, with the injury and everything, has it kind of delayed that timeline for you guys coming together? Uh, it's all us playing around him. We know he demands the ball wherever, whenever he gets the ball. It's all us just trying to find ways in the game to play around him. And we're all great players, so that should be quite easy. But like I said, we got to learn time management. Knowing guys' tendencies and all that, that should come pretty quick. But we know whenever he's on the floor, we got to adjust to him. Derek, you mentioned the goal of playing into June. That would be new for you, obviously. So yeah. Have you had conversations with some of the guys that have played into June about how to approach the regular season, maybe even pace yourself? Really not not with them. You hear um, Coach Lou say it all the time. But really with the training staff, they, they tell me not to shoot. Like you saw Brian them shooting out here like 20, 30 minutes after practice. They kick me off the floor. So um, I have, have to take that and just know that um, there is good intentions and they're just trying to preserve me and make sure that I'm fine and um, making sure that I'm healthy all the way into June. So I can't take it personal. Um, it's a business. It's, I mean, it's, it's basketball. I have to be smart. And I'm not 21, 22 anymore. I'm 29. So um, it's all about just being smart.